Shalom. Shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Belebi coming at you again with another quick video. Um, this is what I want to say. We are entering to uh, such a holy time. We are entering to such a holy season with our God. And the sad thing is, many of the people that proclaim to be his people aren't really taking it seriously. What do I mean by not taking it seriously? Many of our people, by their actions, by their mannerism, by their words, by their lack of Torah observance, they are not ready for this season. Many of our people do not fear Yehovah. Many of our people do not fear the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's twofold. Many of our people do not fear Yehovah because they believe somebody else took their punishment for them. And all that is left now is just the blessings of God because all of his wrath was supposedly poured out on somebody else. So they really don't fear him because somebody else paid it all. Then it's another group of people that do not fear Yehoah, do not believe they have to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments because they're outside of the land and they don't observe anything, but they boldly declare they're Israel. They boldly declare there's one God, but they don't observe anything and they willfully do it. They willfully choose to be rebellious and think they're righteous at the same time. Now, I know many will disagree with me and guess what? I expect it, and I have no problem with it. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. Everybody has a right to their stance in life. But I'm telling you now, my brothers and my sisters, if you are declaring yourself to be an Israelite, if you are saying that you walk according to the ways of the ancients, how are you walking according to the ways of the ancients? When you don't fear Yehovah, you don't want to keep no commandments. You don't want to reflect the righteousness of Yehovah, which is revealed by our obedience to him. The truth of the matter is many of our people just do not fear God, period. They don't fear him. And during this holy season, you better do some deep inward reflection. You better look down deep within your soul. You better ask yourself, are you about this life? You better ask yourself, are you representing? Are you a servant and a witness of Yehovah? Because if you are, you will fear him and you will keep these commandments. There's no way around it. And as I said before, you could disagree with me. You could be mad at me. Some of you probably cursing me. I'm used to it. But I'm telling you now, you better hear the sound of the trumpet. And you better repent. We all better repent. We all better get ourselves right. We all better acknowledge our shortcomings before the face of Yehovah. We better rise up. Shalom.